Hey, what's up guys? So today, I'm going to be showing you what's in my Altoid Survival Kit. I recommend everybody in the world have one. Um, most important thing is that it pertains to whatever you need. Um, what I want here could be different than what you want, so this is just what's in mine. So it'll give you a little bit of an example. So first off, take the rubber band off. You can always use that for something. Now why an Altoids tin? Tin's the most important thing. Um, it's metal, holds everything together nice, and it fits in your pocket. You can have everything you need to survive in any sort of survival situation by something that you can get in your pocket. <clears throat> Open it up. In the, uh, in the lid, I wrote down some information and, uh, you know, birthday, whatever. Uh, contact information, like emergency contact number in case somebody finds it. I threw a picture up there of somebody, which that's an old picture. I need to probably get rid of that, but I got some cotton balls. Cotton balls, uh, number one, they are an awesome fire starter for anything. And number two, uh, they stop everything else from rattling in there. So when it's in your pocket, everything's nice and secure. It's not going to be like cling, 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 cling every time you move. So they keep everything nice and quiet. Got these mini rubber bands. They used to have the, those loom band garbage things that were really popular at one time. And I figured I can always use these for something, hold something together, you never know. Uh, this is a roll of, what do you call it, those things, that, those poppers. Catch some sparks on there if you smack it with something. Got a roll of cash, money. You know, you know, might need some gas or something on the side of the road someday, so... You know, get that. Extra shell for my own purposes. Cough, cough. Uh, let's see. Got a little roll of matches. And I uh, threw them together with one of those rubber bands. I haven't got in this for a while, so this, everything's like all dusty, so ignore that. But got a little roll of matches. This rubber band needs replaced. I've got a crayon. It's a dark color so I can write with it on a sign or something if need be. Also, if you light the top of a crayon, the paper will burn and the, the wax. This could be used as a candle for hours. Alright, so that's always good. Got some fishing line. You always need fishing line. Fishing line's a good thing. You can tie something up. You could suture yourself if you need stitches. You can do anything like that. Other little tiny rope. I got that off of uh, headphones from work, earplugs. A little packet of sewing string, different colors, just for fanciness, but that's how it came. And I also uh, put two different sized fishing hooks and a sewing needle inside of there. So, you know, hook it in there so they're not going to snag on something, they're not going to snag you, and uh, nice and secure. Never know if you're going to sew something up or whatever. Another little thing for fishing, or a clip, you can use that for anything really. Some safety pins, I have them stuck together. Let's see, a little firecracker, you can make some noise or light something up, never know. These little things are awesome, I'm going to put another video of how to make these. Essentially these are... I, have, I had a straw and I melted the ends holding stuff inside. So this one has pepper. Uh, can't read that, but I think that's antiseptic, neosporin or something like that. Sugar, salt, some more cotton, and this cotton is fire or uh, waterproof because it's it's sealed in this. And steak seasoning. Nice. So, a lot of the thing, survival, you know, it's, it's not necessarily, do I have the physical means to, to be out here and surviving? It's, do I have the mental capabilities of being able to hold on? Which is why it's important that I had a photograph in here and kept me going, give me some, give me a reason to keep going. And uh, also these sort of things, you know, you, you can always, you know, get food or whatever, but you know, if it, it sucks, 
your your mental status will go downhill and, and you're not gonna make it. So uh, steak seasoning for me, awesome. You have to keep that going. A couple key rings that can hold stuff together or whatever. A uh, striker. Also with the matches, uh, I dipped several in wax. Like these were, I took the ends. There was a candle burning. I dipped them in wax, and that fireproofed these, the match heads. So only half of them. The other half, because it's easy to strike without the wax. You have to rub the wax off a little bit to strike it better. But there's that. This is a just a flattened coin. I flattened it on a. Uh, train track but once again it was little reminders of things to keep me going uh, this Benadryl um, you have some sort of allergic reaction to something you might need that if somebody has a, like a bee sting or something stupid you can have that toothpick let me see here this is a magnifying lens I got that from uh, from a book or something you could start fires with this could see better and everything. Let me see. Aluminum foil. Now I took a lot of aluminum foil and I folded it up and pressed it really nicely. Aluminum foil can be used for a drinking cup or a plate or something. If you're if you're using it, you can you can hold water in this. Uh, you can cook on it in an emergency. Also, uh, it's shiny, so shiny side up. You can reflect it. You know, get some attention if you need some help. Aluminum foil is awesome to have. This is I. Uh, this is a metal metal saw saw blade, and it broke in half, which most people you know you throw it away. But me, I was like, oh, that's perfect size. I chucked it in here, so I got a little little hacksaw, little metal hacksaw. You can break into places or. I don't recommend breaking into places, but if you're if you're needing in this situation, you're probably not worried about breaking into places anyway. So, anyway, another uh, match striker, a band aid, band aids fix boo boos, um, finger bowl. This is a moist towelette. I don't know if it has alcohol in it or whatever, but you never know if you need one of them. They're always helpful. Little sinker for fishing. See some hair, hair thingies. I don't know what you women call them nowadays, but uh, get out of handcuffs with these. Pick a lock, hold something together if you need to. Got a couple of them bobby pins, I think. There we go. That's the word. Little dog tag, and this is a little. Uh, it says Jesus is the key, but that's a little screwdriver thing that fit in here. Another toothpick. Hey, it broke. I had a little mirror. This was from a, a makeup that my girl at the time had in a makeup mirror. But you can reflect with mirrors or you could, you know, see yourself if you have a cut or some sort of injury. And I also taped a... Up oh, inside there's another match. Another toothpick and a... Another fishing sinker and I also uh, taped a razor blade to the bottom so you always have like a little knife on you if, if emergency happened but this is essentially all I would need um, and I keep the things like the like the cash on top the flat things on the bottom I keep the cash on top just so, you know if you ever need this right off the bat the other things like the razor blade I'm probably not going to use that because I have a pocket knife on me anyway but, you know, it's there if I need it. Um, but, yeah, this is essentially what I have in my little Altoid survival kit. I'm going to be updating my picture soon and different little things like that. But, you know, you always want to keep something, not only survival things. You know, your knife's your most important thing to, for survival. Knife and fire, right at the top. Other things like that are medical needs so like your Benadryl for me that's very important I also had like pain pills and more of these I, I used them uh, I cut my foot open before and I had some uh, medical tape in here and I was able to to fix myself up and continue hiking off off that river but you know different things like that but <clears throat> that's essentially what's in my kit and uh, you can adjust anything 
in here to suit your own personal needs because what I use isn't what you're going to use. You know, I'm in the middle of the country. I do wilderness hikes, mountains, that sort of thing. If you're in the city, you're not going to probably need half of this stuff. You're not going to need some fishing gear because there's no river anywhere near you. You know, I could survive forever with, with fishing gear. You know, if or if you just can't do that in general, you're just going to have to find something else. Do something that you would need. You know, and everything's multi-purpose. Like I said, crayon, uh, you can write with it, but it's also a candle. You gotta find, you gotta think creatively and think of different different ways to use things. You know, bullet. You know, obviously it has your your bullet uh, things, but it's also shiny. You can use it as a reflector if need be. You can get some powder if you're not gonna make yourself explode. If you know how to do that, you know, start your fire. Fire's used for for warmth for signals to to get to get escape out you know any, anything like that cook food aluminum foil multi-purpose you gotta find as many things as you could stuff in here to you know as many things as you can fit organizationally that you can use for a hundred different things you know one th one thing for you could be used for a thousand different things and that's what you really need but this is what I have and uh Give me a thumbs up, give me a share, and leave a comment below of what you have in your kit. Let me know. Thanks. Always like, subscribe, share, and uh, have a nice day. Peace.